Guys, I have a wacky, crazy idea. What if, and I'm just speculating here, we actually saved the puck today? I know. It's not from lack of trying. This game is difficult. I will be the first one to admit that. This is what our team looks like right now if you want to take a mental picture because we are going to be going past the trade deadline in this video. Our defense is all right. I think this team's problem is that, well, I mean, 80 overall in the second pair isn't really helping our case, but I said it in the last video as well, at least I think. We don't really have like any superstars. Clayton Keller's the closest thing we have, 89 overall. But other than that, it's sort of just like a team of second, third liners. Now, let me clarify two things. I'm speaking in this game, not in real life, and on top of that, these players definitely have the potential to grow. They're just not really doing it. This absolute stink box is tending the goal as a backup for Connor Ingram, who I don't think has been doing too well himself. 908, I mean... I wish. Give me a decent situation against the St. Louis Blues. They are 23rd, we're 27th. This is a horrible game but it is a game nonetheless first period is going to result in a beautiful giordano getting both of them that is crazy second period 3-1 all right sure let's jump in yeah here we go it is time for us to obtain another w and you know what okay not a good start not a good start playing like an absolute dumpster fire already but we managed to get lucky enough that no goals were scored he almost made me eat my words instantaneously. Like, you know those instant karma things? Very close. Pavel goes for a pass, but Kesselring said, Nope, I'll be taking that, thank you. That looked like some pretty sick hand-eye, too, because I believe it was a saucer. Ooh, nice try at Ginla. As we are just on a one-year contract, get out of here. I think... And I'm just speculating again here, that maybe in Be A Pro, they will only dish out one-year contracts. However, now that Utah knows that I want to come back for at least one more year, maybe they're going to try handcuffing me and offering like a three-year deal, which I know that's not really handcuffing, but you know what I mean. I've had to make a few pretty big saves so far. That one wasn't as insane. It was still a save though. Pareko down low, and that's going to be one time from the point. Just a little snapshot. Did not feel like taking a clapper, apparently. These St. Louis jerseys are actually beautiful. I'm a big fan. The blue and the yellow just go so nice together. What does Robert Thomas have for me? Oh, oh my goodness, he actually passed that. Okay, all right, yeah. That was not good at all on my part. And now we have only a one goal lead with about six and a half remaining. I'm a little bit scared. I don't like it. I do not like this at all. No, get up, please. Get up, please. The recovery of Tino Mans is atrocious. Let's get that insurance marker back. Come on. Come on. You know you want to. That was not really a good attempt whatsoever. Braden Shen. All right. So I need to... Yeah. Like, why did I go to the left there? Why did I do it? I corrected myself pretty much immediately, but why... I don't... Whatever. Okay. Two on one. Saad is in. And he goes... That's a huge save. That is a huge save. If that one-timer went in, like, there's nothing I could have done. That was a missile. I was definitely ready for the slide there. I anticipated the pass, but also I had to respect the shot because our defense was sort of just caught in the middle in no man's land doing a bunch of nothing. Empty netter. Amazing. All right, there we go. That should secure this one. I got absolutely roasted. Someone's like, yeah, it's time for a player be a pro because the goalie be a pro is just you sucking until you're 90 overall. And you know what? You're not wrong. This is the year that I want to do a player be a pro. I am sure of it. Third star action for Tino Manny. Boom, what a save. Oh, this nice moment better not be ruined by James. It wasn't. What a nice guy. A nice guy for a nice moment. Could you ask for anything more? They are throwing us to the wolves here. Chicago currently first in the NHL with 37 wins. And they're like, yeah, you know what, Tino? Go ahead. This is probably going to get ugly real quick. But first period, not bad. Second period. Let's try. Tara Vinen gets absolutely flattened. That's a good way to start the third. And Bedsy, is he going to let one rip? Little toe drag release. Yeah, get out of here, Bedsy. Horrible pass on my part. Should not have done that. 
but I did. We've got a purple ability on whoever that is. Wait, is that Dursey? I think I didn't see him when we were editing the lines. Maybe he was injured. Whoa, that was a close call. Tara Vinen with a great shot, but I don't know if we got a piece of it or if it just hit the post, but the important piece of information is that they're not currently celebrating. So we've got that going for us. Good job, 5-0. That's another massive hit. Holy smokes. This is a physical third period. I'm not even kidding you. When I do a player be a pro this year, I'm going to have to relearn the entire game because I have not played as a player actively in years. I really only play this game when I'm making videos. And if you know my channel, we have the goalie be a pro. We have drafts and the odd franchise mode. I never play as a player. So this is going to be very interesting. That was a wonderful shot. What? Did he just Patrick Waugh himself go to flash the leather and drop it in? Was that Waugh? Yeah, I think it was. Anyway, let's see what happened here. Mikhail Sergachev. A blaster. It goes through. No way. This poor goaltender. Off the oven mitt. Off the melon and over the line. You hate to see it for him, love to see it for us. And with that Plinko-esque goal, we are now tied up at two with half the third period remaining. It is anybody's contest. Please score? You're kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. Where's the cameras? Surely this must be a prank. Yep, get in there and help him. Wow. He just absolutely bamboozled both of you. Drew two players in and then took his skate and said, see you later. Oh, yeah? Nope, turbo. You know what? He's actually looked very, very good for Chicago. Like him and Bedard have got a thing going on and it's working for them. Stop that Benzy shot. We are currently doing quite well. If we can even get this game into overtime, I'll be pretty happy with that. If we take an L and OT, whatever. Do it. That's so lame. Oh, now he's going after our player. All right, I'm fighting him. Oh, Peter. Wait. No, we're not scoring on that. And they're about to get it. So I think it's a prime time. We got our chance. Didn't score. And now there's a Tilly. Our fighting record is 2-1. And, and it's about to be 3-1 and one because Mrazic does not stand a chance. Look at this. Boom. Ooh, he's going for the grapple quick here. Dodge. Throw again. You won't. This guy being so unpredictable. There you go. Oh, there you go. How'd that one taste? See you later. Uh-oh. That didn't go too well for you, now did it. Normally, me fighting the other goaltender is completely unprovoked. This time, he purposely skated out of his crease after that whistle and went towards our player. So, I feel like that one was justified. 30 seconds left. If you guys want to just score in regulation, I will be here for that, and I support you in that decision. Nice hit on Bedsy. Thought he could squeak by, but he was wrongo. Michelli, over. What was all that? Actually, as a matter of fact, no. What the hell was even that? Won the draw. Too little, too late. And now we have some trois en trois action for five minutes. Until we go to a shootout. Oh, never mind. It's four on four because the two players just came out of the box. There you go, Tino. Throw it out. Whoa, Dursey. Never mind. You clearly knew what you were doing. I can also see clearly now the rain has gone. Not a fan of this one here. Bertuzzi, I don't really have to respect the shot there, so I was really cheating towards the one-timer. Yeah? What a save by Pita. Oh my word. Get leveled. Zoob. Goes for a shot, but Dursey's in the way. And now he gets knocked off of it by Turbo. All right. This is 
This is interesting. If we can get this puck out here, we should be safe and get the final attack, maybe. Dursey's hustling. Look at this guy go! Nice pass. Michelli got a good shot off there, but it was not enough to win us the hockey game. Oh, shootout. All right, fine. Everybody gets one, and it's got to be on Betsy. It's got to be... You know it's going to go bad if I don't save them with the flying poke check. Clayton, he's in. I don't know if I've ever seen our team score in a shootout, ever. I can no longer do what I want to do. All right, there we go. Turbo has been denied and tried to skate through the net. Aginla's turn. He's going for the wide cut here on Airmine. Little fake. I respect that so much. What do you got for me, Bert? What do you got for me? Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot. Tried to go forehand. I didn't bite. To the backhand. And maybe he tried to put it five hole. I'm not sure. This is our only chance to keep it going. And we fail. A trade point for me? Unfortunately, recovery is not an option. Neither is speed. Okay, so what are we doing here then? These stats are already in the 90s. I don't think we really need it. Yeah, we could possibly use it. All right, fine. We'll go for positioned. I was going to bank it and just save it for later, but we will spend. I did say we were going to pass the trade deadline and finish the season in this video, which I mean, I still want to do because our record is kind of doo-doo. I'm going to go ahead and simulate up to this game in Carolina just so that we pass the trade deadline. Is our team actually going to do anything? Very unlikely. You know what? Our record isn't that bad. We are seventh in the division. Maybe we stand a chance? Did our GM do anything? That is the question we must ask ourselves. And the answer is no. Team looks exactly the same. Defensively. Oh, we got rid of Connor Ingram. And we got Jake Allen. Okay, we're seventh in the division right now. We're 10 points back. If we go on a rip, it's possible, but it just seems so unlikely. Let's get the sim going in this game against Carolina, and maybe we'll have one more episode to finish the season and do the offseason. I don't know. 2-2 two, two after one. Nah. Simulated. Ooh, we almost came back. I guess we're the starting goaltender now because they're putting us in every game. The pity pens. 27 wins, 32 losses. That's not great. Okay. Mm, nope, not gonna do it. Three nothing. It would have been so funny if that was another Malkin goal. All right, it's official. We have taken over the starting role. Jake Allen is now the backup at 83 overall. I think he was first period. It is 1-1. It is 2-2. Let's go. You know, in the screen when it's loading up, it shows you the players with X factors, or I guess three of them on the other team. Well, they have Igor Shosturkin somehow. How they pulled that off, your guess is as good as mine. There's another penalty. So, we were just on the peeper. Clearly didn't score. Nice try, Clayton. Get me off the ice immediately. And now we can use this camera for all of one second. There you go. Pucks on net. Elvis is going to save that one, but maybe he won't the next one. So just keep throwing them towards him. That's holding referee. He was clearly by him. And this guy was doing everything in his power to hold him up. That is absolutely crazy. Save that. And it looks like whoever was on defense there made him pay for taking that shot. I love how all these sponsors are like the official thing of the NHL. Like the official sandwich, the official drink. Can I be the official man of the red of the NHL? Yup, yup, this is it. This is not it, but we're still in the attack. I didn't say when we were gonna score. Pucks out, but you know what? It's all a part of the master plan. We're still gonna bury one. Where was that headed? Holy crap, Wierenski. Oh no. Oh no. Yup, never mind. We're good. Defense got back. Chilling. That actually got through. Caught it with the blocker though. And that one did not get through. So we're one for one on this attack. Or no, sorry. One and one. Not one for one. Yeah. 
Anyway, Boone Jenner enters the zone. I don't exactly know what to say right now. Glove save. That goal was just another example of fish out of water. I was bouncing back and forth, and I don't know why I do that, if it's a panic thing or what. I'm not sure. But what I am sure of is that we just tied it up again. Thank you, Clayton. That was worrisome. Oh, no. Okay, never mind. It worked out. My pass was to the boards, not a defenseman, and they beat us there. But luckily, we had a guy at the point that was able to get it. And now, if he passed that over to Keller, could have been a rinse and repeat. We're probably going to get another overtime here. Columbus gets one more chance. Defense has it. We just, we don't need a one second whistle. I feel like he wanted that too. As soon as the puck hit me, that whistle went. Skate. Skate. Keller. What? Yep, I'm all over it. I am all over it. What a pass. Hello? I mean, yeah, it was a suicide pass and he just got run over, but it was a good pass. We played for Columbus in my last goaltender be a pro, right? In NHL 24? We must have. And we had Marchenko, and he was kind of our goat. Sergachev hands it off to Cooley. Why is it so hard for us to score on breakaways? And now they have one. I, I actually was with him. And it was just an amazing finish, which our team should take notes. Look at that. Backhand cheddar. Instead of trying to do the Datsuk from the hash marks. Yeah, you should be pissed, Clayton. That was a horrible attempt. 26, 28, and 10. This season is over. So, I am going to do it. We're going to go crazy here and simulate up to next season. So happy I get the option for persuasion here. And it actually worked? We actually went on a three-game winning streak right there. Took an overtime loss to the Jets, and now we are terrible again. Last game against the LA Kings is a 5-2 win. It's a good way to end the year. I am also severely impressed with the lack of meetings. I had that one where I was able to persuade the coach. Other than that, nothing. A trade point for me? The Stanley Cup final is between the Vancouver Canucks and the Buffalo Sabres. And it will be the Canucks that go on to win it. Grand Rapids Griffins acquiring the Calder. Ooh, we got a press conference. And we have James in my eardrum. I've managed to become very respected. I got dialed in and Energizer. Next season is gonna be crazy. 24 hours of training and we are going to assign it. Provides a considerable energy boost for all skaters on the team after a desperation save. Two things. Probably not making too many desperation saves. Why is the font so small? Dialed in is actually perfect for us, assuming it takes the simulation into account. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that. And then we will also put on Energizer. We almost got Sponge. Very close. We finished the year 7th in the Central Division with 77 points. 33 wins. Not great. As you can see here, our offense is kind of non-existent. 72 points from Clayton Keller. And then a drop off to 56 for Grandland. Michelli 54. Genther 52. Not gonna cut it. Jake Allen actually has a worse save percentage and a worse goals against average than me. He only played eight games, but still. Jesper Wallstedt, 42 wins and a 917 save percentage, 275 GAA. We do have a 921 from Bob though. Great year for defensemen all around as Quinn Hughes has 97 points and 18 goals. Morrissey had 95 points, 88 for both Bouchard and McCarr. Matthew's gonna lead the charge for forwards, 117 points. Nate was right there with 116 goals. They were also very close. Just gonna skim through the trophies real quick here so we can see what's good. Pappy with the Art Ross. Nate Mack gets the heart though. Morrissey getting the Norris is very interesting. Matthews gets another one. Draft pick, there you go. Calder, Quinn Hughes with the Conn Smythe. Bobrovsky gets the Vesna and the Jennings. Edvinson, Bill Masterton, Barkov, Nathaniel, and Pappy. With that, we can now simulate to the next season. We're 77 overall. Should go up a little bit more in the offseason, I think. Here's the lottery. 
We went from fifth to sixth. Why do we always get bumped out? You absolute snakes, they're actually doing it. Three years and they're offering me 900k. I guess I could always request a trade. I'm so tempted to go to the Oilers. I really am. Say Levy. A trade point for me? I promise you if this team does not have McDavid and Dreisaitl. But it is a one-year deal. So at least we got that going for us. I actually can't believe I just did that. I had no intention of doing so until I saw the three-year deal with Utah and how well Edmonton did. So as surprised as you guys are, I'm right there with you. I surprised myself. I love that my hand is just through... The pants right there, that is perfect. Perfect. Oh, hello. Oh, perfect. Well, what's done is done. We are now in Canada playing for the Oilers. Not going to look at the lines. We're going to save that for the next video to give you a reason to come back. Cliffhanger, you know, learned about those in school. We'll also get the equipment all set up, the mini wheats, the blocker, the oven mitt, all of it we'll do in the next video. And I, I still, wow, I actually just did that.